All right guys, so the tank is officially cycled. What, two and a half weeks, three weeks? Um, I was reading some nitrite a couple days ago. So that's zeroed. Nitrate, some, zero ammonia. So time for a water change. And before the water change, I'm gonna dose a little bit of ammonia and see in 24 hours if it goes away and converts. So then we'll know, okay, we are safe to add fish. Yes. Right, guys, first official water change on the Ocean Guard. So, we're gonna find out if this, taking this silencer off the overflow work so this literally just sat and it kind of like floated so i don't know if this was the issue because i never really seen one of these on tank so taking this off and after i do the water change i'm going to take out 20 gallons 20 gallons back and when i click it back on everything should go back to uh, how i had it so let's see a little piece of tape to keep a mark just in case i don't take out too much water or put in too much water so Everything is drained so there shouldn't be any extra water leaving the tank down to the sump. So here we go. First water change. This one is so much easier, I swear. Uh, yeah, take a look at the cube 20. Rocking and rolling. All right. Filled up back to the line. It's bad water and then I just uh, got, what is it called? The python thing in the garage and then uh, we're back. So this is the moment of truth. Will it work? I'm sorry for the bad lighting in this video. So I'm gonna turn off ATO and I'm gonna turn off the skimmer, everything else on. Okay, here it goes. So definitely in the beginning, I had way too little water in the sump. So I think I filled it up here. It's pretty much if you get it to the max water level, you should have enough water. So all right, I'm gonna cut it till uh, we get closer to this. Also, I got this camera to turn on and work properly. And look at that. This is probably not diatoms because there's no sign of diatoms. It's probably just residue from the rocks because it looks like a reddish purple. So, oh, yeah. Okay, I think the water level was right above the 20 mark here. So, let's see. What's going on up here? Still got ways to fill. Okay, we're almost there. So that silencer sat right on top of that, right there. Since the tank is cycled, I am going to get around and put the hydros on this tank. But guess what, guys? Guess what? This thing is cr garbage. Crap, garbage. I don't know why it's even on there because everything is back to normal. The water level in the sump as you can see, right above the 20, as I had it, bam, up here, it's trickling into the emergency, bam. So yeah, that's our first experiment on this channel, and it has been a success. So if you have this, chuck it, because uh, you will be pulling out your hair every time you do a water change or mess with anything. So. Crossing my fingers, it stays like this. Uh, it took about, what, 15 minutes to stabilize, and um, it's working good. Crazy, crazy. And um, I even messaged Aquafer. I don't think they even know. I don't know if like people don't like complain about this, but uh, I told them about the situation, and they're like, oh, that's kind of new information to them. So if you have a tank and you have an issue with it, you need to contact the company so they know they're aware of like issues in these tanks because even from my last video a couple people with ocean guards commented that they had the same problem so 
you guys watching this, chuck it. Chuck it. So this was our culprit. This tube PVC silencer with floaties. Um, I apologize for the bad lighting. I didn't. I honestly didn't think it was gonna work, but it did. So yeah, record everything because you never know what's gonna benefit other reefers. So yeah. Okay. So now I realized today that I'm dealing with a lot more water. So instead of so what I did today was I took out the water in this it has wheels, and then this one doesn't have wheels, and I put the freshly mixed salt water in here, kind of pumped it out with that CK zero. So to make life easier, okay, that's fine. All right, what I need to do is put one of those spigot things, and uh, um, so it would be like right there. And put a spigot with one of these things, where I could put the python holes to it. So when I need it, I could just turn on the pump, and it would just give me water. So I don't have to like, I wouldn't have to lug any buckets anymore even with the cube uh, 20 so that I will be working on and I'll keep you guys updated catch you guys on the next